Okay, uh, I'm back in the workshop and I'm putting together a few of these little boards which are basically a little 8-pin microcontroller, um, two addressable LEDs, uh, a resistor for the data line for the LEDs, uh, one uh, a sort of bulk capacitor for the board, uh, C2, a tiny little 100 nanofarad uh, decoupling capacitor for the microcontroller um, and a fuse which I'm not going to populate, um, I'm just going to put a zero on jumper on because the battery pack that's going to run these is going to uh, have a fuse. They're going to run off those little uh, vape batteries, disposable vape batteries. I'm going to reclaim a load of those uh, and use them to run little rechargeable, uh, just little lights, basically. Uh, so, yeah, more to come. Uh, the I'm reclaiming these... Um, uh, LEDs which I think will fit on uh, from some of this strip just with just with a hot air um, and uh, they seem to be coming off quite nicely uh, so back in a tick here's a shaky close-up of one of the boards uh, it's just single wire in and out so it's just plus minus and one wire to program uh, and so yeah there's a ground plane on a bit of a ground plane on the back just mainly for uh heat dissipation for the leds um that the ch32v003 is the microcontroller i'm using and the other text is something that the pcb manufacturer put on um yeah it's all looking pretty good uh quite pleased with this layout really it's pretty simple but i don't know it was satisfying simple but satisfying um okay righty ho Time to do a few of these boards. So this is the what's going to be a zero arm jumper. This is the first addressable LED. Oops. This is the main bulk capacitor. This is the little hundred nanofarad decoupling capacitor. This is the data line resistor. This is the other LED. And then this is the microprocessor. Okay, a zero arm jumper, 100 ohm resistor, I think it could be 100, 120, it doesn't really matter. A little decoupling cap, bulk capacitor, so that I think this one's 22 microfarad, uh, let's see. Uh, so, the microcontroller, pin 1 is marked with a little dot, <sighs> holding breath, and what's going on there? Finally, the two LEDs, now I need to get these the right way around. Um, oh, bums. So, uh, positive. I think that's that's the data. That's the negative. Oh, I'll tell you what, I can look on one of the other boards. The grounds are uh, the grounds are the ones that have the vias in pads so that's right the little um the little notch is the ground on these and the other one let's see so the veer and pad is there so oops Ah, 
right, okay. Um, let's give it a bit of heat. Go. I want to burn out these LED chips. I don't want to have to go over it either. Okay. Bit a bit of a blow. It all looks pretty good. A few little solder balls. Hopefully those LEDs are on. Okay, toot toot. Here I am uh, programming the little board that I just made. Um, uh, so I'm using the Mound River uh, IDE, the WCH, these are WCH chips, Mound River IDE. And the uh, that is the uh, their programmer, the, w, the Link E. It's got to be an E, a link E to program these chips. Now these ones are only, it's single wire in, out. So it's plus, minus, and then single wire in, out, which goes to uh, D1 on these or D4, you know. Uh, there's lots of different names for the pins, but D1. Um, and uh, so uh, let me just change this. Seem a bit of a demo. So instead of being red, let's have it be rainbows okay so i'm uh making the hex file um and with this i am uploading it okay so nothing seems to have happened but you have to reset it for the program to, to actually start so there we go these should slowly change color there we are nice working little board Toot toot!